I'm gonna have to reteach myself for uh, for this one. <laughs> Um, so wish me luck. I have not done four needle uh, knitting or whatever you call it, um, double pointed needles. I have n no idea what you call them uh, or what you call this. I haven't done it in <laughs> like 10 years probably. Um, so I am going to have to reteach myself on this. So wish me luck. Um, but uh, these are them. Uh, they're very old. They're from um, someone in my family who gave them to me because uh, she learned that I could knit and um, she wanted me to have her stuff. So, uh, yeah, so she gave me these and um, again, I don't use them very often. I don't really like metal needles. Uh, obviously, you can tell I usually use wood, um, but these are the only four points that I have. Um, well, I had a blue one, I think, and I honestly don't know where those are anymore. Um, but I did have another pair that I learned on. I just don't know where those are anymore. Um, I'll, I'm sure I'll find them eventually, but these are the ones I found. So these are the ones I'm going to use. Um, I just have to love relearn my, how to do it, but, um, they are basically knitting needles, normal knitting needles, but they're shorter. And instead of having an end on it, both sides are pointed, like they're both the end of the knitting needle because you're going to be using both sides of all the needles. You're going to be using all of them. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's um, a little bit challenging only because it's confusing and I probably don't do it right. Uh, but this is how I do it and this is how I learned to do it. So. Hopefully this helps you do it. Um, start with the normal slip knot, and then where'd my needle go? There it is. Um, then you, I'm going to do 24. So I'm gonna do 24 on the needle real quick. So I will be right back. I did 18 instead of 24. So uh, yeah, I, I did 18 because I'm gonna do uh, six on each. So. Uh, hopefully that'll work <laughs> and hopefully it's not too little. I Again, it's been a long time. Um, I'm just trying to remember as I do it. So again, wish me luck. And I don't like metal. <laughs> Alright, so for this one, um, obviously you started on one of the four needles um, with all the stitches. All, all the stitches are on one needle currently. Um, now you take another one and you put just just normal knit you don't have to do anything special just take six of the stitches off of the one that you're starting on and put them on the new one see now i have 12 over here and six over here um again this is going to get really confusing really quick um but once you get it it's good like it's not as bad now grab a third needle and now take another six stitches with the same, like these two are connected, right? Now you take the yarn that's connected to your ball of yarn and wrap it, whoops, stop it. You wrap it around and knit six more stitches onto the next needle. So I'll be right back again. Okay, now I have six on each. So that's three. Um, again, they're not connected yet, but they will be in a minute. Um, and ignore this. That's not going to matter in a second. Um, but so far <laughs> you have six on each. That's, that's how you start it. Now take your next needle. So now you have all four in your hands, uh, and do the same thing where you do, you put it through the ones that you haven't, like the, the stitches that you haven't moved yet. The original ones, you take those, and knit them onto the needle without any that are on it yet. So let me do that and uh, I'll be right back. Now all of your stitches, your original stitches, have been, get out of the way please, uh, have been knitted. Like all, all 18 of them have been moved around onto new needles. Um, that's, that's one of the hardest parts is that and this next part because you have to connect them all to each other to make a circle. 
because they're all going to connect. So you go into the stitch that's at the end of the, um, the end of the opposite way that you were working on. The one with no tail, no nothing. It's not connected to the ball of yarn. You go in over here at the opposite end where there's nothing. So you go here with, with the needle that doesn't have anything on it. And grab your yarn that's attached to the ball. And again, it's a little challenging. I haven't done it in years. Got my needle situated. <laughs> you just knit it onto the needle. It's so hard to show. So it looks like that, it's like a little triangle. Um, knit it onto the needle where there's nothing on it. So I knitted this one. So this one technically has two rows on it now. And I have an empty needle again. So that now from here on out, you basically just do the same thing over and over again. It will naturally do the um, flat on one side, so the purl stitch. Um, I, I don't know why it does that. It just naturally does when you're knitting it around. Um, it just naturally does the purl stitch, so it'll be smooth on one side. Unless you go somehow figure out how to do the garter by like flipping your yarn so you're purling one row and then knitting another, I think. Honestly, I don't know how it does it, so I can't really help on that. It just naturally purls. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing the next stitch. Uh, again, same thing. You just keep going around, and you hear lots of clanking because the needles. <laughs> Have I mentioned I don't like metal? I should probably pull this. Alright. But again, yeah, see, it's kind of... This is what I see. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's very hard to show this because it's four needles. <laughs> but, there's another round and now you're back at the beginning. So this will be your second round starting here. This is where you connected the two. Um, the end to the new, you know, to get it to go around in a circle. So again, you just knit and then knit and knit and try not to <laughs> get too tangled up in the in the needles. So I'm gonna do hopefully a few more rows um, and fight with all of my needles. Um, and hopefully that was at least a little bit helpful because now that I'm doing it, I'm remembering how to do it. It's just very difficult to show through a camera lens. So. And knitting backwards is extremely difficult, so hopefully this is at least a little bit helpful. <laughs> but I, don't, I don't know how else to show it because it's so hard. That's why I don't do it very often. And I don't really knit in rounds very often because of the um, purling style. That's not, it, it looks cool and all. I just like the squishy more of the garter stitch more. I like things to be soft and squishy. So I'm gonna, um, now that I'm hopefully done talking about nothing, <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a few more rounds of this until it gets a little bit bigger so you can see what I mean. Um, when it gets bigger and, uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be back in a few. Uh, I'll be right back. And good luck with this if this is helping you. Good good luck. <laughs>
it's still very small, but that's about enough of the needle clanking that I can handle. Um, I'm so used to using wooden needles, I forgot how much this, all of this, annoyed me. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I, I can't, it's driving me insane. So it's, it's a very nice, like, if I had four point wooden needles, I would probably do this more often because I really do like, because I'll, I don't know if you can see, but there are no seams on it. Um, it's like, so it's just a circle without any seams. It's just, it's all one nice piece. Um, it just looks very nice and clean. Um, I used to do this a lot. I remembered as I was doing this, um, for full, like all the way up my arm sleeve gloves. Um, I used to use these. That's why it came back so often or, or so quickly. Um, cause I, I did it a lot. Um, I did it on like four or five pairs of full sleeve gloves, uh, on the blue ones, which I have no idea where they are. So I don't know, <laughs> but, but the clanking, the clanking is driving me nuts because I haven't done it in so long. So I'm, I am sorry for only making it, you know, this big, it's, it's still, it's really small, but I just, I can't, I can't with the metal anymore. It's too much for me. It's too annoying. But I will do one more row just to show you how it's done again. Um, when I was first learning, I thought knitting on four needles meant you had to have stitches on all four needles at a time. But turns out one's always going to... Whoop! I dropped it. <laughs> one's always going to be free. No matter what you do, it's... It's gonna be, it, it should not have any stitches on it, otherwise it's gonna be really, really, really difficult to do. Um, but again, to do this, ignore all the clanking, it's gonna probably drive me insane more than anyone else. But, um, yeah, ignore the clanking. Um, hopefully it doesn't bug you. But you do a normal knit, just normal knit stitch all the way across each stitch and then it somehow magically makes it the purl stitch and again i i don't know how it just does it um so that's one and i was starting on the edge of a row by the way so at the beginning of a row or round whatever you want to call it um and then you take it and do the exact same thing where you knit the six or however many stitches you have. Doing six, a, a tinier amount is more difficult um, than doing a bunch because you have more room to, you know, for this to stretch out and you have more room to work. But I honestly didn't know if I would be able to remember it. So I did a tiny amount again. Um, and then I'm glad I did because <laughs> the, the clanking, it irritates me so much. Um, Anyway, and then for the third one, you just knit it again, normal, just normal. You don't, you don't change the way you knit. You do the regular knit stitch, um, for every row. Um, so it's, it's no fancy pattern or anything. It's just normal knitting round and round and round. So it, it goes by quickly. Um, once you get it, it, it does, it goes by very, very quickly. Um, and it gets long very quickly because of the way that it does the, the pearl thingy. Um, it gets long quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, no seams on it because it's all one big piece. You don't have to seam it. Um, so it, it will look nicer than, you know, doing a flat piece and having to sew it together. Um, I just can't handle, <laughs> I just can't handle the clanking. Um, but I am very, very happy with myself for remembering how to do this because obviously I was very nervous about uh, not being able to share how to do this. And I'm sorry if the beginning was confusing because I was trying to remember how to figure out how to do it. Um, but hopefully you were able to get it um, as well. Because um, really, truly, um, once you figure it out, it's fairly easy. Um, just the clanking irritates me, but it is easy. It, it goes really fast. Um, 
it's just you've got to figure out how to start. That's the most difficult thing to do with it and most things to be perfectly honest. But always have one needle with nothing on it. That's that's the key thing. And then you just make the little triangle thingy, triangle shape for the most part, and then it's good to go. You just go around in circles until it's the length you want it. Um, and that's it. To, to finish it, it's the same thing. Um, like regular knitting, um, however you finish it, whether you knit two stitches together or you do the way that I usually do, which is the you knit two stitches and then you take the one further back on the needle up and over that stitch. Um, it's the the easiest way for me to do it. Um, that's the way that I learned how to do it, so that's how I do. Um, but it's the same same type of deal when you uh, use four point two or whatever these things are called four four needles. It's the um, same type of technique, except once you're done with one, see I only have one stitch on this needle, you're gonna have this one, it's done. You're all done with it. You, so you can put it down. And now for the next six or the next whatever you have the stitches on, uh, the you keep using the needle with the one um, stitch on it and just knit normal. And then again, just take the one further back, off, up and over, and over just just like a normal um project if this is the way you how, how you do it um again this is how i do it so that's how i'm showing <laughs> um you just take it like like normal and then it's all finished and again now you have two without so you, you're done with those and now you just have normal two needles just like normal knitting and just now it's truly like finishing a normal knit project. So you just knit them and then pull it over until you reach the end, until you get to the one stitch left. Like that. And then it's all done. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to like triply knot the thing because I'm not going to keep it like normal. <laughs> I'm just going to pull it tight so you can see. Like, now it's all secured up, and my teeny tiny little circle <laughs> is all done. But you can see how it doesn't have any seams on it, because it was knitted in a circle. Um, it's all just one big, nice, little, teeny tiny li little circle thingy. Um, Again, I did it small because I didn't think I would be able to remember how to do it, but then I remembered I used to make a ton of arm sleeves with it, uh, with the four point, um, before I discovered wood needles. Then I realized how annoying the clanking was. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully um, any of that at all was helpful because this is really, really, at least it was for me, confusing to start. I had so much trouble with starting this um, because I just didn't know where to put the needle or how to use any of them. Um, it was just very, very confusing. I didn't know how to hold it. I didn't know that one was supposed to be without stitches all the time. Um, yeah, I just, I had no idea how to start it. So once I figured it out, it was all good. And then I was like, okay, yeah, this turns out pretty cool. Um, it's all gone now. Uh, but before that, yeah, it it was difficult. Um, where'd my other one go? I only have three. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Uh, but that's why I keep them in this, because I lose them. Um, but yeah, hopefully any of that was helpful. The ending of it, the beginning of it, I'm sorry if that was confusing because I was trying to figure out how to do it again. Um, but yeah, honestly, I hope that was helpful for you because this can be challenging, but it's well worth learning. Um, yeah, just 
I hope it helped. I truly, truly hope that was helpful because I know it was confusing. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hope it helped. Bye!